When Cam and Sally bought the land, they bought it in, in mind not only to create uh, a new house for their family, it was more as well about regenerating the land because they both come from a farming background. Uh, particularly Cam is an agricultural scientist and Sally wanted to really move more in the flower business. They already actually, apart from introducing some animal species, they planted over 2,500 trees with the help of land care. And that was before we started building even. We came here and it was freezing cold. <laughs> And I think they knew where they wanted the house. So we stood here, my heart was beating because I come from Lebanon. And for me, seeing ruins, even though they're colonial, it was very exciting for me. I wanted to connect with the history of the place, but at the same time reading about the mythology of the sacred land as well that we're on, which you can feel it in some areas when you go around the property. I needed to connect with all this and with their brief and with their aspiration, yeah. So when I introduced the concept, after two months, they straight away loved it, and then we ran with it. And I didn't want to create something Cartesian, I wanted to create something a little bit more... to create something a bit different, I suppose. Being in this house makes you feel very serene and very connected with nature. Talk about passive design principle, it's always understanding and having a sense of the place to start with, the site. Second thing is really understanding the orientation, understanding the solar geometry, how you want to penetrate, not only facing north, but how can you capture the movement of the sun through the whole day. From basically the orientation and then it comes to the wind and the ventilation, it's looking at the material. So looking at material that doesn't have much embodied energy, using as well material that have high thermal index, where it can really hold more the temperature and can regulate it. Concrete is a fantastic element to really regulate the temperature because it has a high thermal mass index. So all the timber in the house, whether the glue lamp, the timber framing and the compressed laminated timber, all came from responsible, uh, sustainable wood sources, and mainly, probably 85% from plantations. So this house is completely autonomous, it's completely powered by the sun, so there's 32 kilowatt that feeds the energy for this house. Completely of water mains, because we have 80,000 liter water tank, even we have a septic tank that needs only uh, to be cleaned probably once a year to act as a fertilizer as well. So the house has five bedrooms and five bathrooms. So I always tell my students, if you can design a well-functional kitchen, you can really design a whole city. And this is all to do with the details and the management of your movement in the kitchen. But at the same time, you know, the kitchen is not only about cooking, it's about as well celebrating the meals. So it's about really connecting with the others, connecting with the exterior, connected to the outside when you're having your breakfast, connecting to the ruins, but then having all this functionality supporting you with your actions, but at the same time feeling embedded and immersed in a happy place. <laughs>